Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about fast retreating. This type of footwork you can use against any fast attack that goes deep forward towards you, like a side kick, or maybe somebody tries to tackle you. And when you're watching this channel, you already know the most important thing in Jeet Kune Do is footwork. If your footwork and everything else, you're punching, you're kicking, you're moving, you're just not able to pull anything off when you have a bad footwork. And here's how fast retreating works. Fast retreating works like a fast advancing, just an opposite. When it comes to fast advancing like this, then you should use a same type of footwork to maintain the distance. With this type of footwork, you can cover a lot of distance and you can evade a side kick. And fencers are using this to avoid get hit with a fast advance fencing attack. And when you can use this footwork to get away against a foil, then you can get away from anything. So for example, somebody is side kicking you and goes really deep. Let's say a side kick that covers more than two meters. So for Americans, it's roughly seven feet. With this technique, you probably can cover the greatest distance in the shortest amount of time, just like a fencing foil. And when you can get away from this, then you can get away from anything. So if he wants to side kick me here, like this, and you don't have a right footwork, you get kicked when you have a right footwork. It's really easy to get away. You just have to know how. You see, it's pretty easy. It doesn't matter what he wants to do. He could also try to tackle you. He could also try to punch you, to kick you. You just retreat fast and you're out of distance. But the nice thing about this is if you know how to switch from retreating to attacking, then you can surprise your opponent with a fast counter to show you one. Then you can kick him. Imagine he wants to tackle, we're gonna do this slow. I can show you. I don't wanna kick him real. Imagine he wants to tackle you and you go and you retreat here and you go and you kick upwards. When he is actually going down, you retreat and you kick him this way. This you can practice this on a person, you can practice this on pads. He advanced fast forward, I retreat fast forward. And then I kick upwards where his head would be. Uh, you can do the same thing with the side kick. Works with the side kick as well. So you can go back and then forward. You could even punch. You could even punch and use a straight lead for this. For example, the guy kicks you, you go like this, and then you punch him. This could be also a round kick. And then you go back. This type of footwork brings you very fast away from your opponent, but you should watch not to overextend the distance so you go too far away, then you would have to cover the same distance back and your opponent would have actually time to react. If you go too far away, it looks like this. Oh, I'm too far away and I have to go back. So you don't want to go too far away from him. And uh, that's also the reason when you counter with a front kick and somebody goes down, you don't want to go here away, then you're too far away. You want to go as so much away that you can just catch him under with your, you can kick him actually here, here, there, here, and his legs are there. And you should also snap your kicks. So when you do this, you should snap it. You shouldn't go like this and let your leg too long in the target so you can get grabbed. So remember, also retracting the technique is very important. So guys, this was a rather short lesson about retreating and how you can use this. And remember, footwork is the most important thing. If you don't have a footwork, you should practice this every single day or every single training session. You train twice a week, this should be part of your training. You train three times a week, it should be part of your training three times a week, five times a week five times a week. So guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.